Hello Cancer, it's my lady from the Ladies Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your bi-weekly reading for the week of 9, 4 through 18, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get the full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me and also commenting. If you want a personal reading, just check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Okay. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. I know I'm forgetting something, but let this, let's get this show on the road. Okay. Cancer, cancer, cancer. What's going on for the love life of Cancer? 9, 4 through 18, 2017. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. 9. Oh, you got some stuff here. Okay, so somebody wants you to make a sacrifice or you want somebody to make a sacrifice and it's becoming a burden onto your, you guys' relationship or situation or somebody's life. And the burden has to do with a new beginning or maybe having a, yeah maybe either a new relationship it's a new relationship that's doing this or somebody is child like so one of the other partners child or having a child together all right all right cancer 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 nine four in 2017 what's going on in love life of cancer jeez guys all right so Somebody has some mental baggage going on that they need to get rid of. And I feel like you might be trying to get rid of or your partner is trying to get rid of this. I'm going to just say this is you because you're reading. But it's it's um, it's cleansing your spirit. You you guys are trying to get rid of that baggage. Finding ways to meditation and stuff to get rid of it. Okay? Cancer, cancer, cancer. What's going on? Cancer. 4 through 18, 2014. Oh, sorry, 2017. I sorry, I gotta shuffle twice more now. Nine, four, 18, 2017. Nine, four, through 18, 2017. Love reading for the cancer. All right, this is it. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm a horrible person. So this is um this is usually the travel card. Either this person is long distance from you. Or you might be uh, taking a trip. Okay. Whew. All right. So I don't know. I feel like I'm feeling like away from something. Maybe you trying to leave away from something. Um, this here is like you're trying to get rid of some kind of baggage. Okay. Maybe you going to take a retreat or something or going to somewhere to you just leaving your area to go try to meditate to clear this baggage. OK, so it seems like the baggage may be somebody or something that just keeps going in and out or you just keep feeling this way like you'll be normal. And then next thing you know, you're feeling like. I don't know, you start getting trigger events and, and believing things that aren't true about the person that you're with. That's what I'm feeling here. Okay, so oh, there is a third party situation going on here. And it seems like this secret is getting ready to come out. So this might be your clutter because everything is face down. So either this is you straight up or your partner straight up. But we got somebody who's going on a trip to... Maybe they, somebody going on a trip to get rid of their third party situation. Like they're going to visit them to tell them that they can't be with them anymore, okay? 9, 4 through 18. What's going on? Okay, so this may be the unseen event. It, it, I, I think it's possibly, a, oh, sorry guys. It's possibly an X. What is this unseen event? See, this is the only thing that is hidden from you. Or you're hiding. So one party is just hiding one thing, which I'm about to read, try to reveal in a second. But the other party, they just got this whole scheme of, you know, they're going to go on this trip to tell this person that they can't be with them anymore. But I think this secret either is going to come out or has can't come out. And somebody's trying to hush this secret up. Okay. What is this unseen event about for the cancer? All right. 
Ooh. It seems like somebody has <laughs> your partner may be getting receiving gifts or somebody is using you for money so or or things a place to stay just any kind of material gain it seems like this person either may be using you or somebody else and you look like you may be getting rid of rid of somebody to be with this one person but this person is just using you okay all right wow i never saw this before but it's seeing it's an unwise decision to um either be using this person or using somebody else while you're in a relationship or to get rid of the third party so i don't know i don't know i don't know maybe it's just the whole situation you need to get out of instead of leaving the third party maybe you need to leave the first party <laughs> all right so what's going on for the cancer 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 Cancer, love reading 9, 4 through 18, 2017. Okay, so yeah, that's somebody's offering money in love. So that might be this on the side. Whew, man. Somebody offering love on, or money on the side. All right, what's going on for 9, 4 through 18, 2017? Love reading, love reading, love reading. Cancer, cancer, cancer. All right, guys. Mm, yep, coming out of a time where you need funds. Oops. All right, you might be dealing with Aries. For some reason, these cards just won't move. Some of you, these people, you're, uh, you work with them. I feel like the side people you work with, the side people. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> That's a different one. Somebody is starting to plan now. Somebody is coming out of um, being like broke or just like, uh, just basically being broke, don't have anything with the third party situation. It seems like the third party situations in both cases is going to give you what you need. They got love and they like got stability. You know, it's not even just like really money. It's just a stable living environment and now somebody is starting to plan situations other than just doing everything all willy-nilly so got the five of cups indicate indecision disorganization clouded vision and division yeah so somebody is weird i mean it's craziness going on about leaving somebody for somebody else that always is like you're trying to go back to your ex or probably trying to uh, I don't know. It's just a hard decision. Whatever you're doing when it comes to uh, leaving somebody to be with somebody else. All right. I mean, just third-party situations are complicated. So now we got the magician, uh, a person with power, uh, dealing with creativity and determination, who follows through with actions. Intelligent person. Now is the time to cre create which what you want. Uh, success opportunity good time for education take control of your life and speak your mind so it's basically like you know what you want go get it you know like you you're not the person to sit back and let stuff happen you know what you want just do it okay I guess I don't have to tell you that though so you got the page of cups a person will help you in some way and be a great friend however you may find yourself having to help as well yet yeah, it seems like whatever the situation you're going to it's going to be a give and take relationship it's not just going to be take 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 you know so like over here you just um taking right now because you're in this unstable relationship but once you leave and go to the new relationship it's going to be like a balance in between there you know yeah it's like love money whatever is balanced 
whatever's off will be on. All right, so we got the full card reverse. It says, carelessness, unwilling to listen to others. So it seems like people are telling you what you should and shouldn't do, but you just going to do what you feel is right. And that's what I feel like you should do. And that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal read, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a wonderful week.